Алло, коллеги. Добрый день. Dear colleagues, may I greet you? Все ли слышно? I do hope that everyone hears me okay. И видно. And well, sees me as well. Что меня видно. As far as I see, nobody sees me so far. So as far as I see, the recording has started. There, I do hope that there is interpretation and the interpreter is on spot. And so the our X has started and we can start. So I do hope that you I do hope that you see me and I do hope that you hear me and I would be very happy to receive some feedback. So thank you, thank you, Mary, for giving me the feedback. So I will launch a camera and I see that the admin is not putting on my camera. So I do see, yes, so finally. So I do hope that you guys see me now and the camera is on. Super. Well, I see myself at least. So I do think that we can start from now. Dear colleagues, may I greet you once again? And I'm truly happy to see such a big public which has gathered to see more offers from Russian tourist companies for Indian side, Russian export center together with, with the, our colleagues from I'm truly sorry, I'm truly sorry, I'm just, I'm just so nervous and I forgot the, the name of the company. So alongside colleagues from Profi Travel, we are making this tremendous event which is about to raise the amount of incoming tourists from India to Russia because, well, as far as I see it, Russia is an amazing, entertaining place for tourism and I do think that our countries have a great potential for increasing tourist flux in both sides, from India to Russia and vice versa. And so today, what we are discussing is, we are discussing how is it possible to make Russia more interesting for Indian tourists, and what offers are there to be made. And so we have many participants from Russian side who are going to present the offers which are there on the market. And from Indian side, I do know that there are many companies who are listening to, to the session and there are more than 100 attendants. I don't know how many are already online. And so many Indian companies are hooked up to the, to the webcast which we are having and we are going to present regions subsequently event after event, brunch after brunch, and we do think that these are the key offers which are going to be of interest for Indian partners. So the regimen is the following, there are 10 minutes for each presenter, all questions arising during the time of presentation can be sent in chat in our webcast or you can formulate it in an email which can be sent to our partners. And so we are not given time for questions and answers. We are sending questions subsequently after the webcast to our participants. And so we gather and collect the questions and then we send it off to Russian attendants and then we are sending the answers back to Indian listeners. So I guess that is the main thing which is to be covered in accordance to the regimen. And so we do start with the first presentation. And so if there are any problems with the webcast, we are just, we are just 
Moving on to another presentation, so we wouldn't have any breaks in our cast. And so I would love to give the floor to the first company which is presenting their offer and they have an honor to open the session and that is Most Tour Company and I do hope the guys are okay and well thank you for being with us. Hello. Uh... Am I on? Да, все отлично, можете okay. говорить. Thank you. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Pavel. I give you most tour. So, uh, let me give you a couple. I, I will uh, show um, a couple of slides about our company and the services we provide, services we offer. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are most to work one of the most experienced DMCs in Russia. Uh, we've been doing it for uh, for 13 years now. We've taken in guests from all over the world. We do tours in 26 languages. Uh, this is a wide range of products we offer. It's both sightseeing tours, packages, uh, adventure trips, uh, all sorts of nature resorts. We do group and individuals. Uh, we offer accommodation at uh, all sorts, all uh, categories of hotels. Transfers, of course, tickets to all sorts of events and shows. Uh, we are eager to work with um, corporate groups. As a Russian destination management company, we do tours across all Russian regions. That is um, mostly, of course, the European part of Russia as the most sought after tours uh, that is sightseeing in Moscow and St. Petersburg, but we also offer uh, the southern regions, we also do uh, Kazan as our, one of our main Muslim uh, regions. Uh, we also offer tours in uh, Siberia and Kamchatka uh, in Lake Baikal, which is the largest freshwater reservoir in the world. We provide tours to spaceship launches in Baikonur Cos Cosmodrome, managed by Russia. Uh, Russia, similar to India, is a country of huge distances. This is not to hinder our guests, as we provide transportation with various types of uh, various means of transportation high-speed trains, buses for sightseeing, uh, domestic flights, of course. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, what is Russia? What uh, your tourists are going to see here, what we offer in terms of products? Russia is, first of all, history. Uh, we would like to introduce your guests to uh, to the history of Russia, be medieval Russia, the Golden Ring. That's medieval towns dating back to 1100s, 1200s. That's uh, Moscow, our current capital that has been uh, our capital since uh, since the uh, 1400s. That's St. Petersburg. Uh, the capital of Imperial Russia. Uh, Russian culture. We are famous for the ballet 
and we offer tickets to shows at the Bolshoi and the Mariinsky Theater in St. Petersburg. Uh, the greatest art galleries in the world, present in both Moscow and St. Petersburg, Saint, the Hermitage in St. Petersburg, former royal uh, palace, uh, one of the best, one of the biggest art galleries in the world. Uh, circus shows, great for families with kids, also very popular in Moscow. Uh, Russia is, Russia boasts all types of climatic zones and uh, nature wonders. For instance, Karelia. Karelia is uh, the land of lakes. We got hundreds and thousands of them in Karelia. That's the Russian north. Uh, cruises on the rivers, first of all, from Moscow to St. Petersburg <laughs> and back. Uh, Lake Baikal, which is beautiful. It's, it's the biggest uh, freshwater lake in the world. Uh, the Caucasus range, uh, the mountain range, the highest peaks in Europe, uh, Kamchatka with its volcanoes and geysers. What we want to focus on is adventure. Russia is the big adventure country. Uh, we would like to show you the nightlife in larger cities, be it Moscow or St. Petersburg. Our knowledgeable guys will uh, take you around, show you the best clubs. Shopping in Moscow and St. Petersburg from last year, um, uh, tax-free is running in Russia. Jeep tours across several regions, uh, also great, self-drive trips, that is, you know, to conquer vast Russian distances, vast Russian plains and forests and swamps, tours to Baikonur Cosmodrome to see spaceship launches. Uh, we cater to corporate groups, be it a conference or just a corporate getaway, we'd be happy to organize everything for you. Uh, just a second. What we want to share is Russian culture. Uh, folk shows, be it dance or songs, traditional songs, or across all ethnic groups in Russia, which we have uh, dozens and uh, hundreds of. Russian cuisine, also varied from region to region. Uh, the guests will have a, a, a chance to bring something home to remember the trip by. And that is also the, you know, famous across the world, uh, around the world. The famous nested dolls, the Ushanka hats, Valenki and so on. Well, minute dolls. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Russia. Be it any kind of travel services in Russia, we're here for you. We'd be happy to give your guests the best, give your tourists the best experience. This is what I have. Thank you. Тимур, вас не слышно. 
Спасибо большое Павлу за презентацию. Я хочу немножко исправиться, сказать. I would love to clarify a bit, and I would love to say that we make this broadcast with Profi Travel. And now I'm passing the word from Moscow to, well, basically to the Far East, and that is a Primorsk club company, and Natalia is about to present. Dear colleagues, good afternoon. Uh, our company, Primorsky Club, has been working in inbound tourism uh, for about uh, 26 years. Uh, we organize a lot of tours uh, around... Uh, sorry. A lot of tours around the Primorsky region. Uh, so today we are going to show you a presentation about Primorsky region. Uh, Primorsky is a region uh, in the far east of Russia. Uh, Vladivostok is the capital of Primorsky region. Uh, direct flights uh, from Tokyo, Osaka, Busan, Hong Kong, Beijing, uh, Shanghai, and other cities are operated to Vladivostok. Uh, the average time of flight from these cities is about two hours. Uh, domestic flights are also very convenient, as you see. Uh, Vladivostok has uh, simplified visa entry for 18 countries, including India. Uh, to get visa, you should just fill out the form of application on the site and uh, get your e-visa by email. The duration of stay by e-visa is no longer than eight days. Uh, what do, uh, the amazing mix of European and Asian uh, culture makes Primoria so special among the other regions of Russia. Uh, we constantly improve uh, quality and standards uh, for our tourists uh, to enjoy their trips. For example, uh, every tourist can buy a SIM card uh, or uh, to get any information at the tourist stands. We have a lot of guides uh, who speak English, uh, Japanese, Korean, Chinese, and uh, European languages. Mm. Sorry. Uh, on this map, you can see only a small part of uh, places to visit in Primorsky region. Uh, first of all, the nature of Primoria is beautiful. It has a special landscape variety. Uh, here you can see uh, rocky peaks, uh, mountain rivers, uh, waterfalls, lakes, and caves. Uh, in one hour drive from, from Vladivostok, uh, there is a unique safari park where uh, guests and animals are in the same area uh, without barriers and grids. Um, here you can see famous Amur tiger and the famous uh, Amur leopard. Uh, ro uh, Rock Sculptural Complex Dragon Park is one of the most beautiful places in Primoria. Uh, since Vladivostok is the capital of Primorsky region, uh, you can find a lot of sightseeing. Uh, here you can see a famous uh, Vladivostok railway station and uh, real submarine S-56. Uh, also, you can see Alevuskaya Street, which is a business center of um, 18th and uh, 19th centuries. Um, on the upper, uh, upper side uh, slide, there's a FIFU campus, um, the modern student city. Uh, below is the Primorsky Aquarium, uh, the one of the biggest in the world. In the Vladivostok city center, you can find uh, several architecture styles, so for example, modern classicism, Gothic, uh, Russian style, and many others. In Vladivostok, Trans-Siberian Railway ends. Uh, there are 9,288 kilometers from Moscow. Uh, Vladivostok as the city of battle glory includes uh, Vladivostok Fortress, Voroshilov Battery, and uh, city dungeons. Also, you can see a lot of warships in the base of the city. 
Uh, Vladivostok uh, has rich cultural life. Um, art galleries, uh, Philharmonia, Mariinsky Theater, uh, where you can see classical ballet and uh, enjoy opera. Uh, there are a lot of uh, festivals and cultural events in Vladivostok, for example, International Far Eastern uh, Festival Mariinsky, the Pacific Meridian uh, Film Festival, and International Jazz Festival. Uh, Vladivostok is the center of business events. The largest one uh, is uh, the Eastern Economic Forum that takes place every September. And uh, the Pacific Tourism Forum, uh, it is the event where development of uh, tourism at the uh, Asia-Pacific region is discussed. Uh, in Vladivostok, you can find a lot of sports events like International Vladivostok Marathon and the Asia-Pacific Drift Championship. Uh, like uh, any port city, Vladivostok is a combination of all cuisines uh, of the world. Uh, here you can try uh, a lot of food like Russian, Italian, Korean, Japanese, Chinese, Vietnamese, Uzbek, and many others. Of course, uh, seafood is a hallmark of the region. Um, freshly caught scallops and fish, crabs, uh, sea cucumber, and many others. Um, several uh, food festivals take place uh, during the year. Uh, the Festival of Navaga, Mussels, Scallops, uh, Kamchatka Crab. Uh, also, we can offer you to visit uh, Tiger the Crystal Casino. Uh, this is the first casino and hotel um, in the far east of Russia. Uh, the diving in Primoria is very popular. Um, uh, and the water temperature reaches 23 degrees, so you can dive very comfortably. Uh, you can also try to row at the dragon boats. This is a famous boat with the head of the dragon. Uh, some boats, surfing, rafting and other uh, water sports are very popular. Um, <clears throat> Uh, Eastern Ring uh, is, uh, it is a project uh, uniting uh, 12 subjects of Siberia and the far east of Russia. Uh, we can offer you combined tours with uh, another regions of the Eastern Ring. For example, Vladivostok and Kamchatka, uh, Vladivostok and Baikal, or Sakhalin Island, or Khabarovsk. Um, so uh, thank you very much uh, for your attention and we really hope you, to see you in Primoria. Natalia, thank you very much for such a detailed presentation and you also succeeded in keeping up with the time, which is also perfect. And well, Vladivostok is quite close to India and it basically takes you pretty much the same amount of time to fly from India to Moscow and to fly from India to Vladivostok. And you can reach out to Vladivostok through far eastern airports like Seoul and Hong Kong, and it's basically an hour flight. It is a very comfortable one. And now the floor is given to the next presentation, which I find tremendously interesting, because as far as I know, many Indian tourists used tours of the likes. And I know some of those tourists personally who did partake in such a great tour. And it's a company called Sea ship and it's Vasily so giving a presentation. Timur, thank you very much. I'm pleased to address you, colleagues. And I do hope that the connection is fine. Seems to be okay. Vasilisa, the floor is, is yours. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Vasilisa, and today I would like to tell you a few words about Voda Health Company. Let me show you my screen. Тимур, я, к сожалению, не могу включить демонстрацию экрана, потому что мне показывают, что Наталья не выключила демонстрацию экрана. Давайте мы сейчас скоординируем. Вы пока говорите все, что хотите сказать. Сейчас мы скоординируем быстро. Окей, okay, спасибо. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, it's 
great honor to welcome foreign uh, foreign travelers and clients in Russia. And uh, I would like to tell you about Russian River Cruises. What a heart is the largest uh, cruise company. And uh, I would like to mention that we are an owner of uh, ships. And for foreign clients, uh, we offer. Thank you. Now I can show you the screen. Thank you. So Russian River Cruises operator Vodahod. Let me tell you a bit more about our company. So, sorry. We are the shipping company and the largest Russian operator of Russian River Cruises. And we provide to our clients a full cycle. So, which means that we offer full board catering, three time meals, uh, included excursion programs and uh, optional tours. We also offer transfers for our clients to the airport uh, and from the ship, or even if you would like to stay in the hotel, we can provide transfer to your hotel. But I would like also mention that we do not provide accommodation uh, pre-cruise and after cruising. So maybe in, a, in the nearest future, we will do it, but now, we provide only cruises. So uh, I would like to tell you about uh, included services. So first of all, it's the cruise. So you need to uh, check uh, our, for example, website or email us and we will choose the best variant for you. For foreign um, cruises, let me show you the fleet. We offer three different types of ships three star, four star and five star ships. For example, we can offer you um, not so long cruise. It's eight days and seven nights on five ship, five star ship Rostropovich, uh, which is very popular among our clients because um, this excursion pro program provide you with includes such cities as Moscow, St. Peters, St. Petersburg, and some others. I will tell you uh, a bit more about our excursion program later. So also we can uh, we can uh, provide you with uh, such uh, three star shapes and four star shapes. There is a bit um, different uh, included services and meals. So all this information, of course, is mentioned in our catalogs and uh, if I have more time, I will definitely tell about it. But today, just a few things about our company. Routes. So the main uh, cities we, pr we um, provide our clients is Moscow and St. Petersburg, with included programs in both cities. Also, around, uh, along the um, military, you can visit such cities as Oglich, Yaroslavl, Gorice, Kirillov, Kiji, Mandragi. And uh, um, in each city you will have stops and excursion included program. I would like also mention that we provide not only service on board, we also provide a service uh, on the ground. Uh, transfers to the main sensing places. Uh, we also provide onboard guides who will accompany your clients and uh, our tourists uh, um, in uh, the language you are speaking. So we provide services in English, German, um, Spanish, Italian, and French. So if you want to have uh, our guide speaking in any different language, you can ask and we will course satisfy your so uh, a few words about excursion program here you can see on the screen uh, the included program from the cruise from Moscow to St. Petersburg and from St. Petersburg to Moscow uh, the standard cruise lasts uh, from Moscow to St. Petersburg um, 20 12 days and 11 nights and if you start your cruise from St. Petersburg to Mal to Moscow, uh, it will be 11 days and 10 nights. So you will have uh, three or two days in Moscow, depends on uh, depends on your route. And here you will have the following 
excursions. So, of course, it's a bus city tour uh, around Moscow and uh, around St. Petersburg. Uh, we also provide bus city tour in Yaroslavl and uh, walking city tours around Oglic, Kravitsi, Kiji, and Mandragi. You will see the most famous places here. We also provide to our clients optional tours, which means that you can uh, uh, visit folk shows, you can visit ballet, you can visit, for example, in Moscow, the Armory Museum and the Kremlin, of course, and Red Square. In St. Petersburg, you also can see theaters, you can uh, um, also have an optional tour to uh, Pushkin, to Pavlovsk, and see the most beautiful places, uh, the most beautiful palaces. So. Uh, the next period of our excursion program is cruises from Moscow to Astrakhan and from Astrakhan to Moscow. Um, this cruises lasts a bit longer, it always 14, um, 14 days and 13 nights. And here you can see on the screen, we provide our clients with a really interesting excursion program. So um, both cities, Moscow, no, sorry, not St. Petersburg, of course. Um, Moscow is included into the program, program and Astrakhan, of course. You will also visit Oglich, Yaroslavl, Kostroma, Nizhny Novgorod, Cheboksary, Kazan, Samara, Saratov, Volgograd. And you will have uh, an amazing day on board because you will have an opportunity to get acquainted with different uh, Russian uh, traditions and cultures and I will tell you about it a bit later. Here we are, entertainment on board. So we organized events on board for our guests. And of course, it's, um, first of all, your first tabs on board is welcome bread and salt ceremony. Then, of course, you will have a welcome cocktail with our captain and you will see the full crew. Um, of course, Russian tea ceremony and uh, vodka show with the tasting <laughs> cocktail party, captain's dinner with the uh, upscale menu, menu, and um, barbecue in Montreuil, if we speak about cruises from Moscow to St. Petersburg and back, and uh, many, many others. For example, you can also get integrated with this atmosphere um, like pirate's dinner, like uh, traditional Russian dinner. Okay, uh, the, a few things about our new proposals. Uh, this year, we, I mean, 2019, we offer as the standard cruises, as, uh, which I have already mentioned. But in 2020, we would like to uh, show you something new. We would like to discover Siberia and I, we would like you to discover it, it with us. And we will provide our clients with the Yenis River Cruises. So we start some very special cruise program in 2020 with our new uh, ship. It will be refurbished. We have already refurbished three ships and I will tell you about it a bit later. And we have already um, total, uh, made a total new refurbishment for our four-star ships. Yeah, so here we can, you can see some pictures, one more, more nature. And here is a few words about our uh, fleet. So we have um, four, Four star ships, we have two three star ships, and next year we will have totally new, absolutely upgraded ship Mustai Karim. Here you can see it. It's um, a new comfortable four deck vessel built in Russia this year. Total new cabins, uh, light design, and I think it will satisfy your clients absolutely. So here you can see the design. Thank you for your attention. I hope we will. Uh, get acquainted and closer. Here is the contact of uh, Caitlin Monova, who is the head of uh, our incoming department. And I would like to introduce myself once again. My name is Vasilisa, and I. It was nice to hear to to tell you about Waterhot Company. Thank you. I see you.
Thank you very much. I can do say that you have one client in line, and that is me. Well, the region which has a lot of rivers is Urals, and we have a company called Vista Tour. And they're making tours in Urals, and that is a very interesting thing to which we can turn our attention. Now the floor is all yours. It is a pleasure to see you, colleagues. I do hope that I'm, you hear me well. Yes, we hear you well. So my name is Anastasia and I work in a company, Vista. And we exist for more than 28 years and we do the tourism. And we have a very developed experience in working with incoming tourism in Yekaterinburg and Ural region specifically. And today I'm going to present you information about Yekaterinburg and its attractiveness. Some background information. So lately there was a visit of Indian delegation uh, with 26 Indian tourists and there were top managers from Indian uh, from, from tourist companies of India and there were leaders from bike clubs and there were journalists who were attending this informational tour and they were participating in this tour because there is a new flight prepared by Ural Airlines in between Mumbai and Yekaterinburg and Ural Airlines is planning to launch this flight on a regular basis and this would make our region more accessible for tourists and now please give me a second because I want to launch the presentation right I do hope you see me and you see the presentation yes everything is seen perfectly So, as we have discussed the attractiveness uh, of objects, we found quite a revelation. We understood that tourists from India are interested in gemstones, in, technic, in technology and in sightseeing. And so, therefore, we have quite a set of tours which can be of interest to tourists who are coming from India and these tours may inquire into the history of Ekaterinburg and also give an overview of the areas of interest. As far as I understand, tourists are interested in learning more about demontoids and demontoids is a semi-precious stone which is uh, being extracted in Urals. Demontoids were of great interest to those who attended the informational tour and as far as we understood people are ready to visit us again just to see the stones themselves well another point of attraction is the location of the very city on the border in between Europe and Asia and so there is vodka there are dances there is some entertainment program dedicated to the location and tourists spend quite a lot of time at this place they're making selfies they're making pictures they like the object very much another tour which we offer is military vehicles and we weapons and that is uh, a visit to one of the most in one of the most equipped museums of military vehicles and weapons in the world. Operators oftentimes stated that they want, would love to have some special actions within this tour and therefore we decided to add uh, some military experience to that tour and that is shooting, visiting a shooting range and having some s simulators as a part of this tour. Another thing is a shopping tour happening within Yekaterinburg. Why shopping and why here? Well, the reason is that Yekaterinburg has a wide range of many world-recognized brands in varying segments and so 
Prices are also significantly lower than in Moscow, and tourists love shopping in our city. So every program which is presented here can be combined with a city tour, and it, one can also add a sightseeing tour to whichever tour. And one can see the dam, one can uh, see uh, get the historical tour, and get to whichever historical sightseeing place. And it's depend dependable on what you want to get from the tour. Depending on it, we can custom we can make a custom design for the tour. But the main four branches, main four strands, which are of interest for tourists from India, are the ones which I have mentioned already, and these are developed according to the feedback from tourists of, from India, and I have presented it already. There are some other things which can offer to tourists, and that is a traditional set of transfer services, then there can be professional guides who are escorting you through and sort of making your experience seamless. We can also offer catering and we can offer both national cuisine and we can offer in cuisine from India because we do know that tourists from India tend to eat the dishes to which they are accustomed. And also there are several hotels which are accredited under India Friendly program. And here I can specifically mark that tourists coming from India were found those objects quite quite okay and they were very happy about the services which were offered in these hotels. And so these objects may be of interest to the potential tourists. So I would be happy to invite you to Ural region and I'm thankful for having your attention. Nastya, thank you very much and you were in impeccably good in terms of timing. And I would also love to know that tourists from India are always very picky about the cuisine because at least 80% of the visitors are strictly vegetarian no fish, no meat, no eggs especially in bakery, in, in pastry uh, Nastya, we would be happy if you, can, if you can turn off your presentation and now we give the floor to another presenter and these are companies from the northern region and it's Aurora Explorer and they're incredibly interesting and they're offering a, an extremely interesting tour and well there are just two places in the world one is in the north and one is in the south and these are the poles and that is quite a suggestion for tourists from India colleagues I'm happy to address you right so dear colleagues I'm glad to be with all of you now and have opportunity to introduce uh, Aurora Explore company. My name is uh, Tatiana Geva and uh, I am a chief company. Okay. So, Aurora Explore is DMC company and official tour operator in Murmansk region and Kola Peninsula. As we are tour operator, of course, we provide a full range of touristic services, accommodation, transportation, guides, excursions, food places, and so on. We work with any number of guests, individual tourists, and uh, uh, or large touristic groups. A few years ago, Murmansk region became a very popular destination because our city is the capital of the Northern Lights or Aurora Borealis uh, in Russia, first of all. Secondly, rest in our region is uh, cheaper than in Scandinavia. Thirdly, we have the same wide range of excursions, winter activities and untouched nature as in Scandinavia. And fourth, everyone who has already been, for example, in Moscow or St. Petersburg or everywhere in Russia, wants to see something new, interesting and exciting for themselves. So take a vacation and came to the Kola Peninsula. 
our local guides professionally dedicate you to the history of the Kola region, Sami nation and Sami people and the city of Murmansk. Experienced photographers will teach you to shoot the northern lights correctly and accurately. A new and comfortable transport will allow you to full enjoy your vacation. Our company has the most uh, items, uh, touristic buses in the region. All transport is uh, reliable. It's very important because in our region, there is unpredictable weather. For example, in the morning can be minus five and after two hours uh, can be minus 25. And of course, for uh, tourists from uh, warm country, it's uh, very important to feel comfortable. So. Uh, and one more uh, moment. Distance between sightseeing points sometimes reach 150 kilometers. So transport is very important. In addition, we have sets of warm and comfortable clothes that we offer for our guests to rent for the duration of their stay on our tour. We understand that buying winter clothes to go for one time to call a peninsula to see the northern lights is very expensive. How we get to how we can get to Murmansk? To our city, you can get from Russia by flights and train. Now only from Moscow and St. Petersburg, and from Scandinavia also. But it depends on the season. By flights and buses from Kirkenes and Oslo, Norway, Ivala and Rovaniemi, Finland, Stockholm, Sweden. All flights are around one or two hours, so we are not. Uh, so far from Moscow and St. Petersburg and uh, uh, you can reach us by flight one or two hours. Now you can see uh, our standard excursions. Usually clients choose itinerary combined with Moscow and St. Petersburg and it will be nine days. Three days in Moscow, three days in Murmansk, three days in St. Petersburg. So if you take three days in Murmansk, the first day will be look like uh, arriving, lunch, uh, excursion on the first nuclear icebreaker Lenin, uh, city tour, dinner, and of course, tour hunting for Northern Lights. The second day usually is a full day excursion to Tiriberka. Tiriberka is the entrance to the Arctic Ocean. After Tiriberka, only North Pole. <laughs> so we are situated uh, on the end of the earth. Uh, first day is a uh, sunny village and of course Husky Kennel. When guests have one more day, we are uh, glad to offer a full day excursion to the snow village uh, from uh, the end of uh, December, yes, until middle of April. Of course, for clients with uh, different budget levels, uh, we offer appropriately different excursion points because in our region we have, for example, three places with Sami people and Sami nations and uh, three or four places with Husky. So um, it depends on the budget, of course. Uh, the last season we became to have guests uh, who want to be uh, in Murmansk um, five days or more. And of course, we can fulfill these days more excursions and activities than you can see on this presentation slide. We also offer excursions that are not in our region, but these excursions points are located close enough to reach tourist buses. For example, uh, visiting uh, the village of Santa Claus in Rovaniemi, Finland, and uh, crab safari in Norway, because uh, unfortunately you can taste uh, crab in restaurant in Murmansk region, but uh, we cannot offer to you crab safari because it's, uh, it's not allowed, unfortunately. Our transport has uh, all official documents and necessary licenses for international passengers traffic. And uh, we can uh, combine Murmansk region and Scandinavian countries. And you can see on this presentation slide one of example of this. As I said earlier, our company has uh, the most units of touristic buses. We use only high quality and reliable transport such brands as Volvo, Scania and Mercedes. Not buses made in China, because I remember you, we, uh, we are situated on the north and it's very important. Uh, yes, because of, for us, uh, the most important go is a good feedback on the, from, I'm sorry, from our clients and guests. We are situated, as I said, on the northern part of Russia and we have polar nights in winter time. 
what does it mean polar nights 40 days uh, 40 days all day is dark time and we have unpredictable weather condition and long distance between excursions points so transport for touristic routes is very very important in the completion camp uh, i want to tell you about a couple of frequently asked uh, questions from our clients and our partners the first uh, of course is when we can see northern lights you can see northern lights from september till middle of april we saw the first uh, northern lights uh, on 25th of august last year uh, so the uh, second question usually is can you offer exclusive routes that other companies don't don't have Yes, of course, uh, for partners with whom we mutually cooperated for several years, we offer exclusive routes and new program. And the third last question, is it interesting to go to the Murmansk region only in winter? No, we have a unique natural phenomenon in the summertime, is polar day, when the sun doesn't set below the horizon for 40 days. We can make excursion 20 hours uh, one day so the Kola Peninsula in the winter and the Kola Peninsula in the summer are different in nature activities and landscapes but at the same time beautiful and unique travel to the ends of the earth is unforgettable believe me I work in tourist tourism sphere uh, 10 years and uh, um, I met uh, a lot of people from uh, many countries of, of, of the world so finally i want to introduce your catchphrase or slogan of our company tourism is not about money tourism it's about emotions Tatiana, thank you very much uh, just a moment so um we take care about your clients for us they are our guests uh, starting from arrival at our airport and uh, finishing when they departure from Murmansk. So when all itinerary details are confirmed before they arrive, and you can forget about them while they are in Kola Peninsula, because we will do the best for their mem memorable leisure. So thank you for your time, and of course we will be glad to cooperate with you. Yes, Tatiana, thank you once again. That is a tremendously interesting and a far-reaching suggestion to get to the far north. It is quite a challenge. I have visited you several times and it is impressive. Well, it is also said that Murmansk region is also, it is, it is said that it's great not to just visit the continent, but it is also great to get to the far situated isles. And next presentation is coming from Murmansk Shipping. Yes, do you hear me? Yes, we hear you well. Colleagues, it is a great pleasure to be here. My name is Maria Fisenko. Sorry, I'm not using video for the means of presentation. And so I do represent a company, Murmansk Sea Shipping Company. And we are offering such a service as cruises to on the motor ship Claudia Yelanska to the France Joseph Land. Kola Peninsula, as it was presented by the previous speaker, has an impeccable beauty, and there is tundra and, and forest tundra. There are forests, there are seas, there are lakes, there are the shores of, ba of Barinsk and White Sea, a beautiful and aurora borealis, also known as Northern Lights, exist there, and it is a great beauty and a point of attraction for tourists coming from all over the world. Murmansk Shipping Company is a shipping company which works in a northern, north, northern western part of Russia, and it works for almost 79 years, and it works with ice-class vessels, which are mostly dealing with freight carriage. But we also have a motor ship, which is 
responsible for passenger carriage, and that is mother ship called Claudia Yelanska, and we have a great technological potential. And we are also working with tourists who are incredibly interested in visiting our peninsula. And so in the historical museum, uh, dedicated to our shipping company gets a lot of attention for from foreign tourists and we present stories about transpolar seamen who were fighting the ice who were fighting the elements at the very north of Russia and, and we tell the stories of their quests to the very north of Russia and the way they were helping one another. As I was, as I have stated already, we have a motor ship called Claudia Yelanska, and it is the ice class vessel, which which is responsible for carrying passengers throughout the Kola Peninsula. And what we are suggesting now is. Uh, such a service as carrying passengers to the France Joseph Land. Motor ship is equipped with all you need for the comfortable traveling. The staff of the ship is very experienced and it has and everyone has worked on this route for several years or at least for at least several years. And they're responsible for making a comfortable transition to the Franz Joseph Land. And here, I would love to talk about the archipelago a bit. And it is one of the most far situated and interesting regions for tourists from all over the world. So we are inviting you to follow in the footsteps of great pioneers such as jo George Sedov, Fritjof Nansen and members of the expedition of St. Anne. You'd have a chance to navigate the islands of the archipelago, see the white bears, see walruses, and see the untouched nature of the Arctic region. And you would also have a chance to see the northern lights at the very place where it is born, because Franz Josef Land is situated only 300 kilometers away from Northern Pole. And the islands of the archipelago are basically the cradle where Aurora Borealis is born, and you can see it also in the summer. Cruises do start in Murmansk, and we start, we take off with the steam, uh, with the mortar ship Claudia Yulanska, and the trip is taking three days. And then you make it to the islands of the archipelago. Two days would be dedicated to the getting to know the Franz Josef Land. You'd have an opportunity of making a lot of pictures and traveling the islands. And then three, three days would take the visit back to the Mormons. And so you'd have sea trips and you would also get a chance to have a closer look at the walruses and whales from the from the board of the motor ship and you would also see those who inhabit the islands with your own eyes well a more fully for a more fully detailed information Yes, there is an yet another thing I would love to talk about. As I have stated, Claudia Yulanska is an ice plus vessel, and you can pick a suit according to your tastes and privileges which you would love to experience. So there is a restaurant, there is a club suit, so it largely depends on what you want to get from the traveling experience. A more detailed information can be received in the office of our company, and so you can basically shoot us an email or you can give us a call. Well, this is basically it, and I'm happy to present this to you. Thank you for your attention. 
Mary, thank you very much. Dear colleagues, I do suggest that you ask your questions in the chat of the webcast, because our colleagues will assemble all the questions and forward it to the providers. So, for example, if you're interested in knowing what would be the what would be the waves uh, like at the sea during the sea travel, please do not be afraid, and please do send these questions to the webcast and keep your questions updated in the chat. And as we're as we're having this webcast together with Profi Travel, we would be happy to pass the questions on to the providers. And now we're coming back to to Moscow, and I'm giving the floor to Space Travel from Moscow, and I would love to you guys to accentuate attention on the most tremendous part of your program, which is having a tour to the space launch site on Baikonur. Timur, I'm happy to address you. Dear colleagues, nice to see you. My name is Artur Muradian. I'm the CEO of Space Travel, tour operator company. Uh, I'm gonna show you the presentation, but I have some things to say in the beginning. Unfortunately, some of our ex-colleagues uh, stole our original presentation and have used it today during your webinar, and we are very pissed about it. So we're gonna use the old one, uh, so space travel. Uh, the company itself is located in Moscow. We've been acquired by a UAE uh, company, Al Khalidia, uh, six years ago. And we are one of the top 10 tour operators of Russia. We do inbound and outbound. We have five regional representative offices and that cover most uh, popular tourist cities, destinations, Samara, Kazan, Chechnya, uh, Grozny itself. Uh, we have about 100 staff. Uh, we do a lot of services that you would expect the GMC to perform. First of all, it's uh, group mice. We've handled uh, quite a few Indian groups from the India itself or from the Gulf countries. We do all the ticketing stuff, which means you will not have to worry about uh, your traveling uh, within the Russia or the countries that are in CIS. Uh, we have a 24-hour support line where your problems will be solved within uh, minutes we do all the visa support which is very important we, we have a great relations with the embassies aboard and uh, by now we had almost zero refusals for a tourist that had uh, applied to us to visit russia uh, yes our products the city breaks uh, moscow and saint Petersburg, by far are the most popular but russia does not end within those two cities we do a lot of ecotourism we do the train journeys, and as uh, Timur has mentioned, we do. Uh, we are certified by the Russian Space Agency for to perform and to sell the tours that can uh, help you to see how the spaceships are launched, either with cosmonauts or with uh, some uh, satellites and whatsoever. I'm going to talk about it in a few minutes. So. The cities, uh, well, St. Petersburg, Moscow, the Golden Ring cities, my colleagues have talked a lot about them. This is the must-see once in your lifetime, at least, to get the feeling of the true Russian uh, Russian culture and history. Uh, Far East, well, not very popular within, from the, basically, uh, India itself, uh, but something that tourists from Japan, for example, enjoy a lot is Kamchatka, and again, uh, the untouched nature the bears the geysers everything there is for the families to see it's absolutely friendly but the nature itself is so untouched that it feels like uh, pre pre preserved uh, preserved land when time has not changed anything northern lines my colleagues from murmansk they have spoke about it it's, it's uh, beautiful much more uh, affordable comparing to european countries and again you will feel the Russian spirit, the Russian culture. Uh, Baikonur itself. Yes, we've been appointed by the agency, as I have said. You have to be uh, aware about just one thing. Uh, when you have plans to visit and to see how the spaceships are launched, you have to do it in advance. Please don't leave it for your last day. It takes up to a more than two months to get us all the permits and everything. And after that, you are ready to see the most magnificent 
technologically advanced uh, science uh, with your own eyes. Uh, again, we have uh, some clients who want to see the extreme side of Russia, which is tank rides. Uh, again, they are available in Chechnya, for example. They have been banned in the mainland Russia, but in Chechnya we have uh, signed a contract where you can ride on a actually military tank. Well, again, without uh, firearms, but still you can fly on the jets, uh, either it will be MiG or some training jets to get the feeling of the airspace. Uh, visiting the North Pole again, do it in advance the atomic ships uh, once again plan your trip uh, I mean as, as soon as possible the gourmet tours are becoming popular especially with Crimea joining with the mainland Russia you can experience the beautiful wine yards the cuisine and the nature of the uh, peninsula well, we do full range uh, mice activities as I've said in the beginning Russia is extremely uh, well equipped the hotels in uh, Moscow and St. Petersburg, they have the, all the facilities to accommodate the groups from 10 people up to 500. We have the transportation uh, arranged and the restaurants are, there are a lot of them. And any type of food, especially with Indian uh, cuisine, we have a number of uh, Moscow restaurants that can accommodate any taste. Uh, I'm being pretty short. I will be waiting for your questions and uh, I hope to see you when we'll get back to India. Timur? Thank you very much. It is a very brief and a very dense and informative presentation. Colleagues, may I again state that we would be happy to receive questions. And I do think that there would be many questions about the Baikonur and the very fact that, you, that there is a tour there that speaks a lot about your company and now the floor goes to another type of activity which is perhaps which is perhaps can be considered extreme in a sense and this is a travel center and they're going to present their tours and the places and the whereabouts of these tours dear colleagues is the connection okay it is just perfect okay okay Я надеюсь, uh, видно. You see me okay. Yes, we see you fine. Okay, welcome, uh, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Timur. I'm the co-owner and the managing director of Travel Center Company. We are uh, a DMC in Russia with two offices, base offices in Moscow and Sochi. We were founded in 2015. Uh, our offices were opened, and since then we started to do the inbound business. Uh, we are a part of actually uh, a big Dolores travel group. We have several offices in CIS countries, which is uh, uh, Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan as well. Uh, our experience in those areas are actually 19 years already. However, uh, today I would like to speak more about our Russian office. Uh, what products we offer is basically uh, the group and individual tours to Russia. Um, we do the Trans-Siberian trains as well, all the transportation and transfer services, uh, the air ticketing, domestic air flights, train ticketing, my solutions, um, junkie tours to our beautiful Sochi casino that was opened recently as well, like two years old now. Um, and I would say like uh, this is what we are very proud about that we started the off-road self-drive 4x4 Jeep tours across Russian Caucasus mountains. All right. Um, well, as I said, we, had, we have 19 years of experience and pretty good reputation in travel business. A lot of people know our company is Dolores Travel in the market. Uh, what is our key uh, thing is that we, we process all your requests within 24 hours. We don't like to make long replies uh, and quotations. We uh, do the instant uh, quotation via popular messengers as well. So you can easily chat with us uh, via WhatsApp or Telegram and send all your requests through them as well. Uh, so we speak multi-language. We speak Arabic, we speak English, we speak Spanish. Uh, what else we speak? Chinese, Uzbeki. <laughs> we don't speak Hindu yet, but uh, I hope that English will help us with that. So um, 
uh, as the destinations that we provide in Russia are basically the main cities of uh, our country as Moscow and St. Petersburg, which are well known all worldwide. Uh, beside that, we for sure do the Kazan now, which is becoming very popular. And uh, we cover the south part of our great and big uh, country, which is the largest country in the world. You already uh, have uh, noticed that uh, my colleagues before me were, were from many different regions, which are very uh, widely spread uh, across the country. Uh, but we are more closer to you know uh, to central area, and I would look, I would like to share with you the map of our great country. For you, you know, just to understand where we are located and which cities we are placed. So, as you can see, Moscow and St. Petersburg, uh, uh, it's like northwest and central part of our country. Then the Kazan is in the Volga area. And Sochi and North Caucasus are the south part of our country. So, um, coming back to Moscow, Moscow, as you all know, is a, I would say, a main gate of our country. The most popular, everybody knows Moscow. Moscow has great historical and cultural heritage, a lot of museums, monuments, uh, great circus that everybody likes to go and to see, very, very nice theater. And we, uh, we say that Moscow is one of, uh, I would say, like classical tours that everybody knows, you know, bus tours that you can go and experience and it can easily combine with uh, St. Petersburg and this most popular combination with Moscow with St. Petersburg you can get to St. Petersburg with the bullet train only three hours, you know, from station to station, which is very convenient. And um, Kazan, Sochi, Crimea, and North Caucasus, those regions that we represent as well, are only in two hour domestic flight from Moscow. Uh, certainly, everybody knows the Golden Ring, which is also very popular uh, and it's close to Moscow. And everybody likes to do some shopping in Moscow. Although, for me, it was a bit uh, surprised that Yekaterinburg is much cheaper than Moscow. But, uh, you know, uh, Moscow is always, always very uh, famous for some shopping malls as well. Especially for, you know, Chinese tourists, I know for sure they like to shop in Moscow very much. So, um, the next, the next uh, most famous destination is St. Petersburg. It's our capital, I would say, of our great Russian empire. Uh, it's the most well-known historical place and cultural heritage with also a lot of history, a lot of museums and sites, which we uh, say is a part of a classical tour. Um, great food they have as well. Very nice nightlife there and very enjoyable. Uh, the third place to which I would add for the classical tours that can be combined with Moscow and St. Petersburg or with Moscow or St. Petersburg, like three, three points that you can do in one tour, is Kazan, which is the capital of Tatarstan region. They have a history of uh, Tatar-Mongol uh, period uh, of our country. Uh, there are also a lot of historical sites and, you know, monuments left uh, from those periods. It's a very nice place to visit. Uh, some of our Muslim clients like to go there because they, are, uh, they, they can eat halal food there. And uh, we do a good combination uh, with Moscow and Kazan for our Southeast Asian partners, which are coming like Muslim groups, you know. Uh, so th this area is also quite popular uh, in a classical way to do the classical tours that we offer to our clients as well. However, I would like to make some more, uh, your, pay your, more your attention on the area of south part of our country, which is not very represented very much now in the, in the world, I would say, uh, in the overseas. Uh, but... This is something that is very interesting, very beautiful places, awesome. something different Russia that you can discover for yourself and which is quite uh, not very far from the main gate of our country. Uh, I would start from the Crimea. 
uh, from this marvelous natural, beautiful landscape. They have very beautiful natural sites with rich history, uh, historical heritage they have from different nations for left uh, over there. You can do both classical and active tours uh, because you know there are a lot of activities that you can take uh, beside doing the excursions. There is very nice, very nice vineyards over there, so you can do the wine tasting also. Uh, it's pretty close combination with Sochi, uh, another uh, southernmost city of our country. It's only one hour domestic flight from there. And uh, one of our also very interesting product that we are promoting now actively is all the, is the Black Sea Cruise, the combination of Crimea with Sochi. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, guys, I'm a bit slow. So I would go a little bit faster on here now. Uh, so Sochi, as I told you, is one of the southernmost uh, city of our country. It's a very famous city for the Winter Olympic Games and for the we were hosting the FIFA World Cup last year. We have a gaming zone over here. We have amusement theme park, first Russian amusement theme park. So we say that this city is very interesting and very uh, ideal for the Indian travelers. Now you can come to Sochi via uh, Dubai because since June 7th, we are starting regular flight twice per week from Dubai to Sochi, non-stop flight operated by Fly Dubai. And uh, I would like to say a couple of words that we, with Ural Airlines, as my colleague uh, Anastasia already told you, Ural Airlines, uh, uh, we are planning to launch with them a flight from Mumbai or Delhi to Sochi, direct flight. So we're uh, we are promoting this thing right now as well. Besides, they are flying to Moscow and Yekaterinburg. They will also launch a flight to Sochi. So we will have an opportunity to receive uh, guests from uh, India on that direct flight starting fall this year. Uh, several words about Northern Caucasus, if I have time. I don't know if I have time left. Uh, Timur? No, I don't. Okay. Okay, guys, sorry for, for that. Some of the pictures maybe I might show you. I would like to thank you, all of you, for, for this opportunity, for the organizers to give this opportunity to represent our company and our beautiful country. Uh, these are the contacts that you can communicate with us. And if you have any more questions, please share with them with the organizers, and we will be happy to reply to you. Thanks a lot, everybody. You have a nice day. Timur, thank you very much. Yes, we're just following a very strict regimen, so I had to interfere. But being the moderator, I just want to state that you didn't talk about the most interesting thing you have for tourists from India. And these are Jeep tours, tours on Jeeps. And that perhaps might have been the most interesting part. And I do hope that we would have to specify this in questions and we will send you questions and you also have self-driven jeep tours and i do think that this is also interesting for tourists from india but i also hope that you would have a chance to communicate directly to companies who are interested in it so we are not leaving this region just yet we have another interesting company which is also working in the southern region and in central part of Russia and that is a company called Fakel Torch and this company is also organizing tours in northern part of Caucasus and they are working a lot with heritage, mountains and nature which differs quite a lot from northern Russia. It is a great pleasure for me to join in. Just give me a second. I just couldn't turn on the video because organizers prevent me from it. Well, you can start presenting. Show 
Угу. Все в порядке, да, видно? Супер. Угу. Окей. Good afternoon again, colleagues. My name is Alexandra. I'm a representative of Fakel to repair a company. Fakel in Russia it means like Olympic torch. <laughs> so the meaning is not of this word. It's not uh, this simple. Uh, so I want to say today about our company only in a few words, uh, because uh, we were established in 1991 year and have experience um, 28 years of perfectly work. Uh, so unfortunately today we don't have a lot of time. Uh, so I don't want to say much information about company. Um, you can see it on our website or in this presentation. Uh, today, I want to say a few words about our Russia and such beautiful place like Crimea Peninsula. My colleague before say, said a few words. Now I want to say in details about it. Uh, Crimea is situated in a Black Sea region and it's like a jewel. Uh, for Russia. Uh, Crimea has a long century history and there are a lot of uh, museums, historical places, uh, palaces, and a lot of beautiful views and landscapes, mountains, caves, and etc. Et also, I want to mention that uh, Crimea, to the Crimea, you can get by uh, bridge, it's a new one bridge uh, from Russian path and uh, it's famous, wait a second, I want to show video. Um, this video, on video you can uh, see how great this bridge is and uh, it was building during a few years, now it's a working bridge and Russian people go uh, by car, bar, by car, bar, uh, buses uh, by this bridge. It's really great. It's uh, a great engineering project and uh, it's uh, the longest bridge in Russia and not only in Russia, but in Europe too. Mm. Yeah, if to go to Crimea, it's obligatory to visit Sevastopol city. It's a hero city. Now it's a base of the Russian Black Sea Navy fleet. And you can find their vessels and the submarine boats and so on. It's uh, like a place, uh, uh, historical place from the uh, war. Also in Sevastopol, it's possible to see tarry batteries uh, it's the most powerful fortifications of the coastal defense. And people from uh, Crimean Peninsula uh, trying to hide there uh, from the bombing and from the extra heavy weapons during the World War II and World War I. Uh, now I want to see, to say about uh, some nice places in Crimea because uh, Crimea Peninsula has a health climate uh, and very sunny marine days, a lot of days. Uh, our royal families uh, in the 9th and 20th centuries uh, rise there a lot of uh, palaces like uh, Warnsowski Palace, uh, also, um, it's Swallow Nest and Livadia Palace on this photo. This again, Livadia Palace. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Han Palace in Bachisarai. Oh, wait. Um, yeah. These all palaces is possible to see if to go to Crimea. Mm. As Crimea Island was like a cherry on the cake for conquerors, so it always needed additional protection. Uh, that's why in Crimea Peninsula uh, there are a lot of fortresses. 
more than 20 fortresses there. It's like uh, on photo you can see fortresses. Uh, and Karatop is um, also like a fortress, uh, ancient town from the fourth century. Um, if you go to the Crimea Peninsula, obligatory to go to the Crimea mountains. Uh, it's like an icons of the peninsula and tourist resorts. One of the most popular is Ipeti Mountain. Uh, there you can find um, bridges, hanging bridges, and also it's possible to see the cable railways and different springs, waterfalls, uh, picturesque landscapes like this. Also Karadak Mountain, um, Marble Cave is also the nicest place in Crimea region. Uh, it's one of the biggest and wonderful caves even in the world, uh, one of the five top caves in the world. Uh, it, it's made by, um, marble it's white stone while on cape there are a lot of capes on crimea from where you can so see beaches and different springs waterfalls like this tarhan hood cape um, i can account a lot of uh, sightseeing in crimea peninsula uh, but we don't have a lot of time so uh, now I want to see a few words about our popular programs. It's a five and seven day tour when you can see only Crimea Peninsula uh, with the most important and nicest places. Also, we combine Crimea region with Moscow. Uh, also, we combine Crimea region with Sochi. Uh, Sochi if you don't know, it's a city where the Winter Olympic Games were held in uh, 2040 years, year. Uh, and also we have a cruise during seven days. Uh, it's, it, it begins in a Sochi and goes to the Crimea Islands and back to the Sochi again. Uh, so uh, we have uh, many other destinations and many other tours. You can find all them on our website, um, like this. And we will glad to see any hearing from you. We will glad to uh, work with you and see your tourists. So thank you for attention. I was glad to have opportunity to say a few words about Russia and Crimea. Thank you. Alexandra, tremendous thank you and you showcase very interesting places and yet again I'm suggesting that colleagues should ask more questions such as for example what might be the size of the group which would be perhaps the most effective one for visiting the Crimea and what would be perhaps the best way of visiting Crimea and what would be the points of entrance to the Crimea etc etc. Alexandra thank you for dropping off the webcast I know the floor goes to cross tour and that is yet another part of Russia and it's five hours five hour flight from Moscow to Baikal Irkutsk and that is the area for which cross tour is responsible colleagues do you hear us well cross tour is not on board just yet oh they're here yes we hear you well so now the the, the 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 floor is all yours and do present information about Baikal yes just give me please one second So, it is a pleasure for me to address you colleagues and I'm presenting it from Irkutsk. My name is Elvira Shangaron and I'm the CEO of CrossTour Tour Operator. Our company is a tour operator which specializes on the in-Russian tourism and we work uh, in Baikal region.
так, все. Right. So our company is a tour operator. We work on the whole territory of Baikal, and that's uh, 2,100 square kilometers on coast. And we work in Irkutsk region, Buryatia region, and neighboring regions. What what is unique about us? We suggest unique tours and bright emotions, and we organize a comfortable and seamless touristic experience. What we organize is thematic, promotional, and provisional tours for, for everyone. Guides are fluent in many languages, and they are very keen on presenting the local history. Well, perhaps the key unique component of our tour is the Baikal, the, the deepest lake in the world. And so Listvianka is the is the village which is located nearby the Baikal and that is an interesting place for guests to visit because there is a great legend attributed to the shaman stone which is uh, present in the Lisvanka region one can also get to the local near Pentiari and you will get a chance to see the local sea animals who can put a special show for you. Another point of attraction which we'd love to present is the very heart of Baikal region, and that's the Olkhon Island. And there are several excursions which we present on the Olkhon, and the key part of it is the Cape Hoboy. So the tour takes one full day, and the nature of the island is incredibly unique. Yet another thing is the indigenous population of the region, and these are the ethnos of Buryat. And Buryats inhabit ethnical park Golden Horde, and you can try traditional cuisine here, and you can experience the brightness and the very specificity of the indigenous population of this region. Yet perhaps another interesting point of visit is Circumbaikal Railway. And it gives one a chance to have a sightseeing tour of Baikal, visit the tunnels and get to know the story of the development of the region. Another thing of which I would love to speak about, these are the mineral springs which we're having here, and that is a medical tourism. Another thing to which I would love to address your attention is the Arshan region, and it is not that wide known inside Russia, and that is balneological resort uh, place. And there is another direction to which we would love to address your attention. And so I would love to give an overview of an Okinski district. It is relatively unknown and we would love to develop it. An Okinski district is situated in Buryatia, in mountain part of Sayan region. And there are mountain rivers and we can talk about extreme, extreme tourism here because there are waterfalls and lava fields which can be visited here. Now we are finally coming to Buryatia Republic with the capital in Ulanude, and that's a touristic region which may be of great interest to you. Nearby the capital of Buryatia, there is a center of Russian Buddhism, so-called Ivolginsky Datsan, and pilgrims come from all over the world to the Datsans, and they're having Pandit Lama Tibela whose body is located in the Datsan, and it is another sightseeing. And then there is the Tar Bagatai village, of which I would love to spoke, so of which I would love to speak. And it is a place where also indigenous people live, and old believers live here. And it was perhaps one of the first Organ uh, places listed on the UN list of organizations of um, primary national education. Well, other neighboring cities which we have is Irkutsk, which is an interesting city with a great story of 
um, the founding fathers, which is a traditional thing for Siberian cities. Whichever direction and whichever town you pick, you would have a great accommodation and you would have fascinating news about the cuisine. And we can develop a custom-made tour depending on the things you want to experience and you want to see, and we would be happy to make your experience of visiting Baikal a 100% immersive experience. Cross-tour, it's a high time to travel. Elvira, thank you very much for such an overwhelming presentation. And you have quite a spot. Well, colleagues, I would be happy if you would ask questions. And I see questions appearing appearing in my mailbox. So whichever channel you choose, be that a chat or an email, please share your questions with us. And Elvira, please may I remind you about the vegetarian tradition of our tourists. Yes, I do hear you well. And well, we basically open restaurants with uh, vegetarian cuisine and so you can visit Baikal and you can try a lot of things being all vegetarian because we have many tourists from all over the world we adjust the cuisine and we adjust the menu good to know good to know another technical thing I ask you to do is to stop showing us your screen because we want to give the floor to another presenter who, so please, so thank you once again. And we would be, dear colleagues, we would be happy to get questions from you. And so our next presenter is located somewhat nearby to Buryatia region. And that is a Silkway company which is making tours in a silk way. And as far as I understand, they're, they're making tours not only in Russia, but outside of Russia as well, making a showcase of what the traditional Silk Road was. I do hope that I'm right in my presentation, but if I'm not, I do hope that colleagues would clarify my positions. Colleagues, are you here? Yeah, so you're here. It is great to, hear, to, to have you here. So we don't have uh, the video just yet. Anastasia, we see you, but we don't see your presentation. Yeah, the problem is that the screen is being presented by Elvira. Elvira, please leave the presentation. Dear admins of the webcast, please help us out. Oh yeah, thank you. Right, we're almost running out of time and this is the last presentation for today. And it is perhaps the most historical one which we're having, which is dedicated to the Silk Road and the floor is all yours. Dear friends, it is a great pleasure to be here. My name is Anastasia and I hope you see me. Yeah, we see you just fine. Yeah, we don't see your presentation. My name is Anastasia and I represent company Silk Road and this is a touristic operator which is working on the market since 2004 and we are working not only in Moscow and St. Petersburg and we also work in Kazan, Nizhny Novgorod, Yoshkarola and many other cities of Volga region. So for almost 10 years specifically we host foreign tourists from Germany, Japan, Austria, and our partners are the biggest enterprises of our region and city administrations as well. So we specialize in MICE tourism and hosting foreign tourists. Anastasia, please, can you try and launch the presentation once again? Yes, I will give it a try. So do you see me now? Yes, yes, we do see you. Thank you very much. So for almost 10 years we host tourists from many regions and Silkway Tour Operator does organize all the tourist routes and accommodation, transfer, travel, everything is included, all included. And so the foreign tourists visiting Russia get the full support 
and experience the seamless experience of visiting the tour. And we suggest cultural and educational and entertainment projects and museum tours for all the groups. So you can have a flight on airfoil boats on the Volga River. You can experience the things which were of delight to President Obama and which made Prince William happy. And those things can be experienced by you too in our programs. And so what we're presenting today are three main directions and three main programs we suggest. First and foremost, this is the industrial tourism, then it is active tourism, then it is creative heritage of Russia tourism. Let me delve in details. So, industrial tourism gives a chance for gives a chance uh, for our visitors to get to the enterprises which has no analogs in Russia. So, for example, one, one of the most interesting places in Russia is Vixa Smelter, and that is one of the biggest metallurgic enterprises in Russia. And here you can see how the pipeline, how the pipes for the Nord Stream are created. Then it is also a place where wheels are created for fast speed trains called Strij Swift and Sapsan Peregrine. Yet another another place to visit is uh, Vixa typography, which is a, an art space created during the times of Vixa Art Festival. Another place we suggest visiting is Gorky automobile plant, and it is one of the giants of our car industry. And one can one can also see how Volga is which is the legendary car, how Volga is assembled and how reactive car is assembled. Another thing which is interesting to be interesting for visit is a, and this is a Kazan helicopter plant and that is perhaps a legendary place to be and MI-17 and Aswa are the fabulous helicopter brands being produced here and these are these helicopters as far as we know are also shipped to India and here one can see the way it is assembled then uh, there is a Kazan gunpowder gun factory one of the most old factories of Russia an interesting one to visit and if you are perhaps interested in it, we suggest paying a visit to the ice cream factory, which ships ice cream to China as well. We can also offer tours to beer and confectionery factories. And one can not only see the way the, the, um, the goods are produced, one can also taste it. Second direction we suggest is the active tourism. So, for example, one can visit Volga River and have a chance at traveling via airfoil boats, which is which which works and which traverses the Volga, touching the surface of the river, and this is uh, the experience which you can have in the Nizhny Novgorod, the place where airfoil boat was assembled by constructor Alexeyev. Another suggestion we have is uh, sky skydiving. Then we suggest having having a tour on a helicopter, and then there is a third direction we suggest, and that is creative heritage of Russia, and that perhaps assembles all the beautiful things which Russia is proud of. So, for example, that is uh, an excursion to Nizhny Novgorod factory called Ariel. So, for example, several years ago, Ariel was producing New Year's Eve toys for the administration of Barack Obama, and tourists would have a chance to look at the toys which were developed at the time and they can take part at the assembly shop and assemble the toys and make and, pa and hand paint it. Another thing to, to mark is uh, Gorodets and rocking horse chairs which were rocked by the sons of Prince William and Prince Harry. 
Another thing to experience is Kochlama traditional pattern, which can also be which can also be experienced. As a part of the Creative Heritage of Russia program, we accustom our tourists with the last so-called last pagans of Europe, and that is the Mari people. And you can also hear them playing Mari Gusli, which, as rumors say, were only played by women at the time. And one can also buy Mari, Mari belt of the destiny, which were weaved by women exclusively. And well, the cherry on the cake is Kazan, which is also known as the third capital of Russia, and that is a city which interweaves ancient Tata traditions and advanced technologies. What we suggest is attending the workshops on making embroidered skull caps called Tubiteka, and those were created exclusively by men, and that is, as in the nature of, for example, Scottish tradition, Tubiteka is like a tartan for Scots, that is something that gives you a chance to understand to which clan one is attributed. So every tour we suggest can last for, for preset amount of days, which can be discussed beforehand, and so transfer, accommodation, cuisine, it is all on us. And we suggest working only with English-speaking guides. We have uh, developed and seamless logistics for every tour, and our specialists are available 24 to 7. And it is a great pleasure for us to develop joint tours, both with Russian tour operators and foreign international tour operators. And it is our duty to give you multidimensional experience of Russia. It is so it's, it's time for me to thank you for your attention. Anastasia, thank you for such a tremendous presentation. And I do have colleagues, I do hope that you would have time for formulating the questions and sending it off to us, be that chat or be that an email, which we stated in the introductory letter. And I thank all the attendants, both from Russian and Indian sides, for taking time. And as far as I know, there are no more presentations for today. And let me thank you, the organizers, the, which are profit travel company, which enabled this very web webcast and which made it possible for us to gather here. Another tremendous thank you goes to our technical team who carefully monitored the web the webcast making it seamless and i would love to say that there are many directions and there are many tour, tour operators which are ready to host tourists from india as you can see the system of intaking of incoming tourism finally makes the adjustments be that the cuisine and be that the custom ta tailor-made tours and so i do suggest that our our colleagues from India give a try and give a shot to the directions and programs which were suggested by Russian companies and we would be happy to host you here. Thank you once again and Profi Travel, kudos to you and well, see you soon and we would be happy to share our presentations with all who were in attendance and to all who were registered for, for the for the webcast and we would in a matter of time in a matter of several days we'll send out the answers thank you once again bye